In this video, we'll go over all of the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. There is no weekly event for this week, but there is a PvP brawl for Arathi Blizzard. Also, the Archaeology Bi-Weekly is still for this one item that used to give artifact power but now only gives a trash item worth 50 gold. So totally not worth doing. The battle for Lordaeron scenario goes live today. And remember, you don't actually need to have pre-purchased BFA to do it. It also debuts the cinematics created for the event that weren't seeable on the beta. And man are they wonderful and worth doing this scenario just to check them out. Or you can just, you know, watch them online somewhere. Also remember, this is the last week to complete the War of Thorns event to get the mounts. You only need to finish the event on one faction to get both mounts. So no need to worry if you don't have a max level tune on both sides. The Sourfang cinematic came out in the middle of last week. Kind of out of nowhere, considering it's most likely the longest cinematic to date. And it's not even an expansion trailer video, which were previously the longest ones. According to some blue posts, the reason it was released in the middle of the week was because it was shown at an event in China called China Joy. Also, this cinematic was being worked on since before the Battle of Lordaeron cinematic was shown for the first time at BlizzCon. So there was both no way it was made overnight in response to the negative reactions to the Sylvanas Warbringer short, and there was no way they included Zappy Boy in it because people liked him and turned him into a meme. It was a 100% a happy accident that the troll they used in the cinematic just happened to be the one that everybody made memes about. The Darkmoon Fair is in town this week, with a new toy added to the fair this week in the form of the Hot Butter Popcorn. The toy only costs 50 tickets and can be obtained from Stamp Thunderhorn, who's the same guy that gives the cooking quest in the fair, which is right next to the Tonk Challenge game. Blizzard put out a bunch of small change hotfixes for the pre-patch today, and here's a quick rundown. Dis Priest, Rep Pallies, and Rogues all got nerfs while Resto Shamans, Resto Druids, and Arms Warriors all got buffs, plus a few other minor changes to other classes. This past week, Blizzard put out the two short novels on their site, A Good War and Elegy, which tells the events of the War of Thorns in more detail. It took me about three and a half hours to read through the Good War short, so they're pretty decent length, and man are they like, really, really good. I would highly recommend everyone read them as they're basically required reading to understand what happened in the burning of Tedrasil. So much so that if Blizzard put half of what's in these in game, there would have been a lot less complaints about the end result. Now it's time for weather with DevBot, the weather bot. Humans all just walk around pretending it's not weird that one of their hands is better at stuff than the other. Oh, DevBot, one of these days you'll actually tell us the weather. And to end this off, we'll be looking at a video from the past, and that video is Thrall's Crib. We call this here the Valley of Strength. We got kind of a new age theme going on here, you know? Trees, rocks, fires, all that kind of whack stuff. Oh. The video just shows Thrall going around introducing pre kata or Grimar to everyone, and is surprisingly well done for the time it was made. And with that, I'll see you all next week.